It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> a federal indictment issued this week against Hunter Biden alleges that he evaded paying over a million dollars of taxes between 2016 and 2020. And they're only catching him now? Man, this is super embarrassing for whoever was president from 2016 to 2020. <laughs> The indictment claims that instead of paying taxes, Hunter Biden spent his money on drugs and escorts. But honestly, it would have been more surprising if he remembered to do his taxes during that time. <laughs> no one finishes doing cocaine with a hooker and is like, could I get a receipt? Speak for yourself. <laughs> if, convicted, if convicted, Hunter Biden could be sentenced to up to 17 years in prison, which would be the first time any Biden has successfully completed a sentence. <laughs> Speaker Mike Johnson said that he is blurring the faces on the footage of January 6 rioters so that none of them would be charged with a crime. So unfortunately, we'll never know who they are. <laughs> it's Photoshop. The president of the United <laughs> President of the University of Pennsylvania has resigned after appearing to dodge questions about genocide during a congressional hearing on campus anti-Semitism. She will be replaced by literally anyone who knows you say genocide is bad. <laughs> the whole crazy part is that the whole point during her speech was that free speech on campus should never be punished. And then she was immediately punished for her speech. <laughs> Victor Manuel Roca, a former U.S. ambassador, has been charged with spying for Cuba since 1981. And that's why Cuba is the unstoppable superpower they are today. <laughs> a new poll finds that New York Mayor Eric Adams' approval rating is just 28%. Now, that sounds low. Independent presidential <laughs> candidate... Robert F. Kennedy admitted in a new interview that he flew two times on Jeffrey Epstein's private jet, but only to make sure none of those girls were vaccinated. <laughs> it's gonna be one of these kind of nights, huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, seen here bringing peanuts into a preschool cafeteria. <laughs> said he will tell Republican senators to vote against additional aid for Ukraine and Israel until there are meaningful changes to the border. But the way it came out was brains. <laughs> <laughs> On his website, truthsocial. I'm going to guess scam, <laughs> Donald Trump denied reports that he was so depressed after the 2020 election that he stopped eating, saying, quote, it was not that I was not eating, it was that I was eating too much. <laughs> Wow, good save. <laughs> That's like when a rumor went around middle school that I had peed my pants, and I was like, joke's on you, because I actually pooped them. <laughs> the Los Angeles Dodgers have signed two-way superstar Shohei Otani to a 10-year contract worth $700 million, which is almost as much as his sister on OnlyFans, Shofi Otani. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a real smart joke. <laughs> McDonald's has announced a new spin-off restaurant called Cosmics. It's exactly like regular McDonald's, except that at Cosmics, the mascot is, oh, no, Cosby McDonald? <laughs> oh, no. according, according to a new study, the rate of depression among men in America is at an all-time high. Here to comment is our very own Marcelo Hernandez. <laughs> to see you, Papa. You're looking good, Colin. Uh, thank you very much. It's always great to see you, Marcel. So why do you think that men are depressed? <sighs> Colin, to understand why men are depressed, we have to first talk about women. And I understand women. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you want to start with that. But... <laughs> no, Colin, like, I grew up with only women in my house, okay? It was me, my mom, and my sister. And then in high school, my mom's best friend and her daughter moved in. So it was just me and four women. And when that happens to you, Colin, 
When it's just you and four women, you have no choice. But to become the man of the house. Wrong. To become a woman. <laughs> I was a woman for many years, Colin. A proud Latina woman. <laughs> and I was living a double life, you know, because at school, I was captain of the soccer team, screaming at all the players, you better play defense today! <laughs> and then I would get home, and my mom would be like, Marcelo, how do I look? And I would be like, you look amazing, mommy. <laughs> As a matter of fact, do me a favor. Go back into your room and walk out again. I want to see you again. <laughs> Where are you going? The White House? Is my mama going to meet the president? And how does this relate to men being depressed? <laughs> because, Colin, women support each other. Men don't support each other. That's why they're depressed. A girl can tell her best friend anything, and she'll support it no matter what. A girl will tell her best friend. She'll be like, I'm dating this guy, and he robs banks. <laughs> and then her friend will be like, at least he has a passion. <laughs> and, and you don't think that men are as supportive? No, not at all. That's why I don't go to the barber shop anymore, Colin. It's a negative energy in there. No one is happy to see you when you go to the barber shop. Every time I go, the guy's like, Look who it is. <laughs> we already told you, buddy, we can't make you taller. <laughs> that's why, that's why a little prince like me goes to the salon, Colin. <laughs> I get to the salon, Colin, and the lady's like, where have you been? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> Uh, okay, the salon do be sounding kind of fire. <laughs> it do. It do, Colin. It do. I'm just trying to say that women have support, okay? When a woman goes through a breakup, all her friends show up. When a guy goes through a breakup, his boys just act like his flight got delayed. <laughs> You'll be like, yo, I was in love with her, man. Out of nowhere, she left me. And my best friend will be like, damn. <laughs> that sucks, bro. <laughs> just go to Chili's and wait for the next one, my boy. <laughs> and, and you would say this is the reason men are the most depressed they've ever been in history? Yes, and also a variety of other psychological and genetic issues, but they're not as funny, and I don't have stand-up on that. Marcelo Hernandez, everyone. Oh, it's glowing! It's gonna be glowing! <laughs> so, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone traveled to Philadelphia to celebrate the city's first ever Rocky Day. Although, I'd say that if you're living in Philadelphia, every day is a pretty rocky day. <laughs> Alaska Airlines has announced plans to buy Hawaiian Airlines for nearly $2 billion. Alaska and Hawaiian combined will be called Technically American Airlines. <laughs> it was reported the inmate who attacked Derek Chauvin, the police officer who killed George Floyd, stabbed Chauvin 22 times, but Chauvin still wouldn't stop choking him. <laughs> Nick Cannon revealed <laughs> that he spends up to $200,000 every year taking all 12 of his children to Disneyland. <laughs> That's how bad condoms feel. <laughs> Some Google users are upset after the company's AI software mistakenly labeled innocent pictures of their children as child porn. This is completely unacceptable, said people who were looking for real child porn. <laughs> a woman in Ohio convicted of throwing a burrito bowl at a Chipotle worker has been sentenced to spend two months working in fast food restaurants. Fast food, where your job is other people's jail. <laughs> A self-described anti-woke beer company has created a calendar which features, quote, the most beautiful conservative women in America, which is just a polite way of saying flat asses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> but, <laughs> Buffalo Bills coach Sean McDermott apologized after giving a speech to his players where he used 9-11 terrorists as a good example of teamwork. 
Which is kind of a full circle moment because when Osama bin Laden was giving the terrorists a pep talk, he told them not to be like the Bills. <laughs> A gym teacher in Florida was arrested after he threw a basketball at a sixth grader and then elbowed him in the mouth, knocking out his front tooth. The teacher was forced to resign and return to the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> well, guys, the holidays are coming up. Here with some intimate gift ideas for that special someone is our very own Chloe Feynman. Uh, hi, Chloe. What are you doing in front of the desk? Well, I only have one sexy gift idea, and I kind of have to demonstrate it. Oh, okay. Well, well I'm sexiest curious. The sexiest gift you can give your partner is trying something new in the bedroom. Uh, wh what are you about to do? I don't know, but I'm getting my popcorn out for this one. <laughs> holiday gift this year is the dance that Julia Stiles does at the end of the 2001 movie <laughs> Save the Last Dance. Chloe, what are you talking about? Hit it! You, you, you think this is a sexy dance to give your partner? Don't you? I mean, not, not really. It's working for me. <laughs> what style of dance even is this? Street ballet. Street ballet? Yeah, basically, Julia Stiles' char Stiles character Sarah is an uptight ballerina who auditions to get into Juilliard, but doesn't get in. And then her mom on the same day dies in a car crash. <laughs> Oh, okay, so where, where does the street element come in? Island, come on, Sarah moves to the south side of Chicago and goes to a more urban high school where she learns hip-hop, duh. Exactly, <laughs> so Sarah combines hip-hop with ballet to create an entirely new style of dance, like this, hip-hop, hop, hip-hop, hop, hop. Okay, and then, and then what happened? She gets another audition for Juilliard, and her crush Derek skips a drive-by shooting to come support her. <laughs> he shows up holding a jacket over his shoulder and gives a nod of approval. <laughs> so, so does she get into Juilliard? Yes! get into Juilliard. How? Well, you, you didn't see the end of the dance. Hit it! Can't say this on the record yet, but welcome to Juilliard. 